Hi, I'm Marge Charmley, and I'm from St. Paul. I'm Anita Kozan, and I'm from Minneapolis. Welcome to Buy Cities, a show by, for, and about the Buy Plus community and our friends and allies. Buy Cities is the longest running show on bisexuality in the history of the world. And I'm actually becoming very proud to say that. All right, this is our, well, 14th year officially, I think. We started in 2002 and had to take a few years off while they built this wonderful new studio. So we are going to hear about these guests whom we owe a big thank you to Amelia, one of our amazing camera people who came up with this idea and helped us put it together. So thank you, Amelia. All righty, take it away, Margaretti. All right, well, again, thanks to Amelia Mel, as you like to go by, for uh, introducing us to our next guest, which we're thrilled to have. We will be having two folks here, the producer and creator of a musical called Great Big Rainbow World. Uh, Sarah Julius and one of the crew members, uh, Maggie Solentic, will be our guest tonight to All talk right. about this wonderful queer production. Wow. And you know what else they'll get to do? What? They're going to sing a song. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so All they're right. going to sing a song, and you guys are going to get to be entertained by more than just Anita. Because <laughs> we normally don't sing, do we? Who are stars You're a better in our singer. Own minds, yeah, 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 you know? exactly. So. You're a singer, and I just, you know, do whatever I do. But you anyway, play the accordion. Sometimes I do, yeah. And she's pretty darn yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I, I play Happy Birthday sometimes, so Very that's my well. big signature. Yes. Yeah. All right. So anyway, we're just really excited to have these guests Sarah. on our show, Sarah and Maggie. All righty. So Sarah and Maggie, thank you for joining us on By Cities. Hey, thanks for having us. Yeah. So Sarah, you are the reason that Great Big Rainbow World is coming into existence. Tell me how you thought about the show and you know, tell us all about it. Yeah, absolutely. And it, thanks for having us, by the way. We're super excited to be here. But um, so the musical, I, I mean, I've wanted to write a musical since I was a kid. I grew up watching Annie, Sound of Music, those kind of shows. Um, for me, what was weird about it was, um, so I have a daughter who was turning one last year, and I realized, I don't know if any of you have kids, but I realized I desperately needed a hobby at that point. Um, oh, so for having my a kid day, wasn't enough. Having a kid was <laughs> I was in 24-7 yeah. wasn't enough, okay. I, I needed something for myself. And right. so my birthday last year, which happens to be in June, so June 2018, um, I bought myself a guitar, and I said, I'm going to learn how to play guitar. You'd Let's never played before? I'd never played before. I'd had one year of lessons when I was in fifth grade. I did play right. piano as okay. a kid, so I have a, have a musical background. You could read background. music, yeah. could read music, yeah. but I'd never actually played guitar. I always wanted to, so I said, enough is enough. I'm just going to do this. Um, so that was impetus number one, learning how to play guitar. Uh, impetus number two was I was very used to telling people I wanted to write a musical. I'd never actually had somebody say, why don't you? Yeah. And I had a friend who finally said that to me. We were tossing beanbags, playing cornhole, and he said, like, I said, my classic, like, I think I want to write a musical someday. And he said, why don't you? And I said, holy crap, why don't I? <laughs> you know? uh, so that was impetus number two. And then the third one is actually kind of more of a tragic one. So oh, my best friend from college ended up uh, dying by suicide. Oh, no. And uh, that was right around um, Father's Day of oh, 2018. 2018. And oh, that so became sad. the kind of the final straw where I just said, you know, life is too short. Um, I don't want to wait anymore. And mm -hmm. a week later, I wrote the first song for the musical called Out With Me, which we're not performing today. Um, but it's uh, that and that started a chain of events where the music just flowed out of me. It was the weirdest thing. It was almost like my friend was like running through me or oh, something and just helping me your friend. Um, write it. So so it's weird to say that the musical itself was written in only a couple months, uh, 24 songs, it's a full length musical, two and a half hours. Um, it was really fun to write. Had exciting. you written music before that? I had made really bad attempts. Um, really for, bad to, attempt. to try to woo. Of course, uh, this is certain part women. of what you're doing. Yes, show, absolutely. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've had. I've written some terrible, <laughs> um, tragic love songs for people who no longer are with me. Maybe for that reason. Uh, uh, but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but actually, playing guitar. What was exciting about it was, if you play other people's music, you realize um, a lot of songs are written with just three or four chords. Like G, C, oh. and D, you can write millions of songs with just those chords. Mm -hmm. Lucky for me, I knew how to play those so the first several songs I wrote were using G C and D a, D, and E as chords. Um, I was, I, the other thing I forgot in my progression of musical writing, I Googled my first step in actually writing. It was I Googled like how to write a musical. <laughs> and uh, that was really helpful, by the way. Um, there was some really good advice there, like storyboarding and thinking about where you want the plot points to be. And, um, and that really helped inspire the, the content itself. 
So uh, do we get a little preview on the content? I mean, you yep. know, it's a great big rainbow world, but you know, without, you, you still want the audience to come and not give the whole show away, but yeah. you want to give us a, a trailer or some teasers, right? Yeah, let me yeah. give you a little synopsis and why you add in too, Maggie. Okay. Uh, so Maggie's in the show. She's uh, yeah. one of our stars. Um, oh. She plays one of the key characters, Barrett. Uh, Barrett the music, okay. musical itself is a, is a women's rugby musical. Um, it is the way I, I summarize it anyway, but what it really is, is it's a coming of age tale. It's one of those classic sort of like, a uh, woman enters college, she's naive, young, doesn't really know what she wants to be, um, so she's trying to find herself, and she accidentally finds rugby, and that becomes this really amazing chosen family that she finds. It creates this safe space uh, that allows her to be who she wants to be and sort of become her own person. It's actually where she falls in love with her first uh, female partner, um, played by Barrett, uh, played by Maggie, That's excuse me. me. Um, <laughs> and what you see there is you see this character, the main character's evolution, but other characters' evolutions too as uh -huh. they progress in their own identity. And what I wanted to do is create a musical that was very positive portrayals of LGBTQ plus characters. Um, the characters themselves, uh, there's several, um, a lot of the characters are either lesbian identifying or bisexual um, in terms of their their uh, construct. They're all female identifying characters. Okay. And, uh, and I wanted to write a musical about that in the sense that I felt like a lot of characters that were portrayed on stage, especially lesbians, which I personally identify as lesbian, it was very um, stereotyped. It wasn't written by a lesbian and you could kind of tell that. Yeah. So I wanted to write cool characters that, oh, by the way, happened to be lesbian or, oh, by the way, uh -huh. happened to be bisexual. Uh -huh. And that I think made it uh, makes it a better story in uh -huh. that sense. But um, anything you'd, you'd add, Maggie? Um, I mean, no, I, I, when she emailed me, she emailed me back in January about the project and I had never, I've never, I've been performing since I was 11 and I've never played a gay character. Um, even though I've been out since I was 18 and I'm 25 now, like it's just not something that you come across very often. Uh -huh. So coming across a, you know, a, like a project like this that isn't horrible stereotypes that we have to work in, that you can play someone who you can actually relate to is very rare in musical theater. Mm. I've been doing exclusively musicals for like three years. So, and I just haven't, this is like the only, it's one of a kind. Wow. Yeah. And so you are Barrett. Barrett, yeah. And, and Barrett and tell. Barrett is the first love, okay. like that first um, person who is, and you can correct me if I'm wrong here, but my interpretation of the character <laughs> is Barrett's like the first love, like the person you see from maybe across a room, across a rugby field, whatever, that just like makes it click. That like, oh, maybe I am this way as opposed to growing up thinking I was one way or forcing myself to think I was one way. So she's like the act, I call her the act one love love interest. Um, so she's not the, the final love interest, but she's the one who helps uh, the main character, Katie, kind of come to terms with who she is, discover who she is and like help her see the great big rainbow world. Oh, you know, all right. stuff like that. And I'll add to that just a little. So the idea of the great big rainbow world, which is actually the song we're gonna perform today. Oh, it's the, it's the right. cute um, kind of first love song. You can sort of sense it in the music too. It's sort of a puppy love kind of song. Uh -huh. But the concept starts as this idea of um, a place where you you sort of, you know like when you come out for the first time and you start to see other people and you can kind of be like, oh yeah. I, or gator I can tell. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can <laughs> yeah. all of a sudden read rainbow auras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it starts off as that kind of space where you might think of it as very LGBTQ plus centric, right? And especially like lesbian centric in that context. Uh -huh. um, but as it evolves, the definition kind of evolves throughout the musical. And what it's really intended to be is a place where you can be who you want to be. That's that's true for um, all of the characters. It's, it's just where you feel at home uh -huh. um, and where you feel safe. So it's not meant to be at the exclusion of anyone. And, and I think the way I wanted to write it was like, what if, what if we could create that world in our world, you know, uh -huh. like our real world here. So the, the musical is really intended to channel that energy, like talk a lot about love and a lot about family and, um, and just create like this safe, happy place that wouldn't it be great if we worked a little bit harder in this world to actually make it more of like a great big rainbow world. You know? Now, do any of the characters actually come out and say I'm bi or I'm pan or I'm, you know, whatever? Good question. You know, so things people call themselves. Yeah, at at this point, um, I don't have any characters that specifically call themselves anything but lesbian All in right. the moments when I choose to label them. Okay. Um, partially that was me because that's how I wrote it. But at the same All time, right, actually, yeah. I was thinking about that prepping for this interview and thinking like, you know, 
I think some of it is I don't I didn't have enough buy influences as an example in that writer's room with me. Oh. So as it's being developed, I think that'd be an interesting thing to think about. Um, I will tell you though, in the second act, there's a character who struggles to to identify with any of the letters oh, okay. in the right. in the rainbow community, if you sure. will. Yeah, um, yeah. And that becomes an interesting commentary for that character okay. because I do think that that is a problem we have sometimes with our community is we want to know well which letter are you? Right, right. And some letters just don't fit people, right. and and or it's very fluid for uh -huh. them. So. Yeah. Um, so that's that's kind of a part. You do see some characters, the, their identity sort of trans, translating over time and becoming something different. Uh, but yeah, I think that'd be something interesting as you uh, learn more about the musical. I'd love to hear your own voice of that, of like, hey, would it, what would it mean to you if somebody specifically said, I identify as bisexual as a character? Like, would that, would that mean enough that I mean, I can be influenced. I mean, I'm here. You know, you have a <laughs> All right, right, Anita, so. here we go. Right. <laughs> What's your pitch for that? No. She's very malleable. <laughs> yeah. Malleable, yeah. malleable. Yeah. Very. Must put be a bi bi character you know, in there. You're yeah, malleable. Say, Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Bi plus. Yeah. And the beauty of it is that label itself doesn't change how cool that character is or yeah, their journey. Yeah, yeah. It just becomes one more thing that maybe somebody can listen to in the audience and go, yeah. Oh yeah, that yeah, changes. Yeah, like yeah. that's me, you know. And that's what I wanted to was to create characters that you could relate to regardless of how they label themselves. Um, that's that was the most important part for me. Well, one of the reasons that bi cities came into existence was to increase bi visibility yeah. and address bi erasure. So anytime we can influence and, you know, support the inclusion of bi in anything. And, I think it's a good point. and just, you know, I mean, as as you were talking about the, that it's a whole team, I'm thinking, yeah. Yeah. is there someone who is asexual? Asexual, you gender know, I mean, queer, are yeah. there are, that that there is that we can be so many different ways and and definitely people change and and there are people who are fluid who yep. change within one day back and yeah, forth yeah. in how you know how who who they are in terms of by gender or you know fluid in gender fluid in sexual orientation so there are lots of opportunities for you to educate and I, I think as an, as an artist, as a writer, it is um, uh, your right to decide how much you want to do that. You know, what is the most important thing for you to, to uh, what opportunities do you want to give to the audience and you don't have to educate them on everything mm -hmm. that is right. out there. But I'm thrilled that you're open to thinking about, oh my gosh, yeah, oh, yeah, it could be this, it could be that, you know. My God, there could be a straight woman on the team. <gasps> my word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've well, gone too far. If she's gone uh, from <laughs> bi to straight, you know, all that sexual fluidity. So yeah. Anita's much more diplomatic than I am, so, you know. <laughs> Good guy, bad guy. <laughs> Good bi, bad bi. <laughs> <laughs> in our influence of you. <laughs> yeah. We well, bring up such a good point, though. I mean, the, what's made this musical great is when people have bothered to speak up and say, hey, have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? You know, the first version I wrote, you would have read maybe version five. We're on version 13 right now of this. And it's little tweaks here and there. And it's uh -huh. those little moments. It is making some choices, though, of at what point do I feel like I'm losing my authenticity right. as a writer? Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, I, I want to hear that feedback. Um, and I do agree. Like bi erasure is, is very real, and um, and I am saddened to think that if I'm playing into that in any yeah. way, like let's let's figure out a way to change it, right? Yeah. Because um, otherwise, like the great big rainbow world just starts to fall apart a little bit. So, yeah. so I think it's really important. Well, I you know just from my own uh, experience, and I'm I'm betting that this is you felt this way too, Marge. That that when two women are together, most people perceive us as being a lesbian couple when either of us is with uh, a man just in public, they assume that we are heterosexual. And so even just acknowledging that, having that be, you know, if you want to put in uh, a line or two of dialogue, oh, Anita and Marge will love this. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was that kind of thing. I mean, and after all these years, of, I mean, I didn't know the name bisexual when I when I first, you know, I've known myself all these years, but I didn't know that's what I was. But the the whole thing of dealing with the myths about bisexuality and about about lesbians, about gay men, about you know all the different isms, people who are trans. We all still have to deal with the myths within ourselves, no matter how how. Um, 
progressive, I'll speak for myself, no matter how much progress I think I've made, you know, I'll still find myself, or, you know, it's not are they straight or are they gay, they could be bisexual. Oh my God, yeah. what a concept. Maybe somewhere in between. You know, and that right. still happens to me mm -hmm. after several decades or longer here of knowing clearly that I really am bi. So uh, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity yeah. for you to, I think, have a lot of fun while educating people as much as you wish. So thank you for indulging us <laughs> as yeah. we go off on a toot. <laughs> That's OK. But is there anything more that you want to tell us about this musical? Like, when you, where's it going to be? How do people find out about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah that sounds great. Um, actually, I would add to uh, one thing I want to talk about too is the casting process. So uh -huh. I'll add that first, and then I'll go into kind of where you can learn more about sure. us. But um, one of the other challenges, how I how I got connected to Maggie is actually through this amazing group called RingOfKeys.org, uh, and what it is is it's this. Um, they, identify, they uh, call it a Queer Women Plus Trans Non-Binary Professional Network. It's a national okay. network, All right. but it's for professionals in musical theater. And when I found out about that group, I was like, ta-da! Oh my yeah, gosh, yeah, I yeah. have found my people. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. The Great Big Rainbow will just open, like burst open. It was insane. Uh, but that's how I got in touch with Maggie. Maggie is the Minneapolis ambassador for that group. And I can't say enough great things about that network. Um, if any of your audience identifies in that space and or is just a musical theater professional that wants okay. to get networked in, you should absolutely check out ringofkeys.org. Uh, they have been such an incredible accelerator not because of what the organization has done, but because the organization exists, it has members who, like Maggie, who I got in touch with. And Maggie is like, when I give my Tony speech, Maggie is going to yeah. get called out all by right, me. All right. Just so you know. I better. I'm going to go on record to say that. This is, this is official. Uh, so, but anyway, in part of that process, what we wanted to do was make sure we not only had uh, LGBTQ plus characters, but that we cast individuals who identified as such. So we, okay. at this point, have a, I call it a majority all, I believe we technically have an all uh, LGBTQ plus identifying cast at this point. That could change over time, so I don't want to pigeonhole myself, but sure. just knowing that, like, we, we wanted to go out of our way to make sure that representation matters, and we want to kind of put our actions behind those words, too. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the, we just locked in space uh, recently, so we're going to be at Gremlin Theater uh, mm -hmm. June 6th through 28, 2020. And and we're going to start selling tickets pretty soon. Um, we are also, so you got to come come to our show. Oh, we absolutely. will. We'll be there. Check out that bi character that I write in there That's for you. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll Marginita. be, we'll be wearing, waving the bi flag, right? That's right. We'll That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if it's not in there, don't think that I didn't hear you. So uh, <laughs> right. let's move on. I'll racer, find yeah. a way. I'm going to buy a fire Yeah, here we go. Uh, but no, June 6th to 28, 2020, Gremlin Theater, St. Paul, right right in the same building that you you uh, host in, so you, you record in. So all right, right. Here. Okay. Um, and then also, uh, we are doing a huge Give to the Max campaign. Uh, not everybody knows this. Musicals are ridiculously expensive Very to produce. Yes. Yeah. I am producing it on my own. Uh, that is just part of the game. You have to totally prove your concept before anybody will, will help you out. So we desperately need the help of people to donate. Uh, so if you check us out on Instagram, uh, it's GBRW Musical is our handle there. You can check us out on Facebook. Um, which is just spelled out, Great Big Rainbow World, the musical. We actually just built a website called gbrwmusical.com. Okay. There's lots of ways to get in touch with us. We accept Venmo payments, PayPal payments. Um, we need to raise tens of thousands of dollars, um, and it's going to be tough, but we're going to do it Yeah, I because that's you. just how we are. I believe you. So. And I would like to uh, just suggest also that you reach out to the Pride, uh, the board of directors of Pot Pride, where they have some funds that they use to support local uh, endeavors. Outreach. Yeah, so there's so, an application process. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're okay. going to the brewery right after this to go chat about grant writing. <laughs> yes. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> or to just go to the brewery. Or just to go to the brewery. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, that's the, the truth. Huh? Yeah, 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 thinking yeah. about yeah. grant writing makes you yeah, 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 so. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. It's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> so I am and still, um, go ahead. I was yeah. just going to say, there are grant writers in the GLBT community that if neither of you has experience with that. My partner all right. is a whiz. All, all right, right. Well, Good. she's all over it. She's also in the cast. Okay. Um, she has, uh, she did theater education and English in college. So she's got a lot of bases covered and she's brilliant at that kind of thing. 
So perfect. We yeah. will be doing a, a big Give to the Max campaign cool. in okay. uh, November, cool. so okay. coming okay. up real soon. Okay. Um, so help that. That'd be another great way to support us. Uh, we get less of those dollars than direct payments because of, we have to have a fiscal sponsor. Sure. Uh, but it, it helps our fiscal sponsor too, which is 20% Theater, and they're an amazing organization mm -hmm. as well. Good. Uh, so it's it's a it's a way that we can kind of help a nonprofit that means a lot to us as well as get benefit you know from from that uh, mm -hmm. too. So there's lots of ways to support us. Um, but more than that, just plugging into the music and really getting to know what we're all about. And we're going to show we're doing a we're cutting a demo album in mid September. So you can if you look at our website, you're going to oh see we already gosh. have two tracks that are um, professionally recorded. And uh, we're going to cut eight to nine more tracks, put them on our website, give people a taste of the music. The music is really one of the best parts. It's very Indigo Girls inspired. So All right. you're going to love it. Well, Marge, we have about two and a half minutes. So are there topics that you wanted to ask or things that for anything about Anything else about the show minutes? before we ask you to uh, perform do a setup for, for the song? Yeah. Anything else you think? You can talk about how you're making us learn how to play rugby for real. Uh, yes. Oh, so right. people ask me what's the hardest part, like writing a musical or teaching yeah, yeah. theater people how to play rugby. Yeah, like for mm -hmm. sure. It's much harder to teach these people how to look like rugby players. All right. And you um, look like one. So you've done it, I did right? play rugby. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. A, like, I'm a legit rugby player. All right. Okay. Uh, Maggie is not. She's uh, illegit? But, you know, <laughs> but that's been, we did a practice. Yeah, she's got a cast of six like tap dancing types <laughs> um, to uh, Doesn't try and well, you might think. Uh, I believe the first time I'm playing like the, I'm supposed to be playing like the swaggering team captain jock I can't catch or throw. Oh my! Um, Don't tell the audience. Well, that. but they'll, they'll be they'll be but amazed we'll be blown by the away transformation, the will, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll do the montage that shows your progression. Every um, time we have a rehearsal, I think that I should go to the included gym in my apartment complex that I never utilize, and maybe like just try and lift a weight or something. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure so it out. Wasn't rugby the one where you pick people up yes. and cart them along? I mean, oh, yes. That but see, dancers, we're fine with the picking people up. Thing. Right. It's yeah. The you, throwing you, and the catching oh, is, is the challenge oh. for me. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've witnessed it firsthand. It's, um, it's shocking. It's yeah. not great. Yeah, I am not a sporty person. Uh, do you have a liability insurance policy for throwing these people out? <laughs> I uh, I should get yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I'm just um, it's learning as I go. Yeah, so, yeah, blind faith at this point. But yeah, that's been really fun. I mean, we've had a lot fun, of we've yeah. had a lot of fun just teaching them the basics, <laughs> teaching you rugby culture. One, rugby uh, culture two of fun. our uh, cast members joined a local rugby team through this process. All right. Yeah. So you're a good so, coach then. Yeah, yeah. All right. Wow. They got very into it very quickly. Yeah. yeah. They're way into their what, I was acting. not one of them. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not me. No. So. That is fabulous. Well, you are going to sing a song for us. Tell yeah. us about the song. Introduce the song. Yes. So the song is called Great Big Rainbow World. It is the song that is sung between Katie, who's the main character, who I will be singing on behalf of. I'm, I don't, I'm not in the musical myself, but the actress couldn't oh, be see. here today. Okay. And then uh, Maggie is going to sing the part of Barrett. Um, mm -hmm. And it is that moment when, and you, it comes through in the lyrics too, but it's that moment when um, Barrett finally just says, like, enough is enough. Katie's not getting the hints that I like her. I'm just going to tell her that I like her. And it kind of progresses from there. Oh, so. okay. Wow. Yep. All right. That is fabulous. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to let you take it away and right. sing that wonderful song, and we'll come back after you're done. Sounds good. All right. All right. I knew I liked you from the moment I saw you, and I knew you liked me too. What? How could you tell? Newbie, you're quite possibly the gayest person I've ever met. I mean, just look at your shoes. What about my shoes? That's not the point. What I'm trying to say is, will you go out with me tonight? I want to show you the world you've been blind to. It's time to open up your eyes, because there's a great big rainbow world out there show it to you. Once you see the rainbow, you'll start to understand what I mean. Cause in this great big rainbow world, you don't have to pretend who you are. So come on, start anew. Just think of all the things we can do. All that I want is to share this great big rainbow world with you. Liked me. You did not. I could tell by the way you stared at me. Okay, maybe. 
But I didn't think that dating you was a possibility. It didn't seem like an option. I don't know why it never crossed my mind. But now we see this is clearly where I belong. Think I finally found my kind. Cause there's a great big rainbow world out there. Let me explore it with you. I can feel my head spinning. Once you see the rainbow, you'll start to understand what I mean. It means I'm hashtag winning. In this great big rainbow world, you don't have to pretend who you are. Be who I want to be. So come on, start anew. Just think of all the things we can do. All that I want is to share this great big rainbow world with you. But it won't always be easy. There will be times you feel alone and scared. Just know we're here to support you Because your rainbow family's always there Cause in this great big rainbow world out there Let me explore it with you I can see the rainbow too Once you see the rainbow you'll start to understand what I mean I think I'm falling for you Cause in this great big rainbow world you don't have to pretend who you are Any chance you're falling for me too All that I want is to share this great big rainbow world with you. Holy cow. I, that I was, was going to say holy smokes. That was absolutely amazing. Holy smokes. I do cow, you do smokes. Okay. But whatever. It was fabulous. Thank oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I can hardly wait for the show yeah, to be mounted. This we are is going to so be thrilled. so incredible. And one more time Woo. for our audience. When is the show? Where is the show? And how can they get tickets? Yes. So June uh, 6th through 28th, we're playing at Gremlin Theater in St. Paul. Um, you can get tickets soon, uh, but not yet. So go to our website, gbrwmusical.com. We will link to our tickets page. You can go to Gremlin Theater. Once our tickets are sellable, you can find it through that, too. So. And that's in 2020, 2020. June, yep, 6th through 28th, 2020. Yep. Well, thank you, Sarah huh. Julius yeah. and Maggie Salentic, for being on our show. We so much look forward to the musical. And thank you to our crew members who helped mm. us out. And would you join us in our signature goodbye? Mm. Yeah. Bye, Bye for now. now. Wow.